please subscribe to the channel and be sure to click the bell so that you will be notified whenever I upload a video. Please also hit the thumbs up or down button to let me know which direction to go for future videos. Thanks. How many times does Kevin Samuels have to tell black women that they are unattractive? This is the conversation when Kevin Samuels rated himself a nine and at the same time said that black women are the most unattractive group of women and they are at the end of the spectrum, whatever that means. And to try to prove his point, he mentions the golden ratio that measures facial symmetry, which is a mathematical calculation that's supposed to determine how close a person's face is to perfection. But in order for this statement to make sense, every other race of woman can achieve this ratio, but black women cannot, and that is why they are the most unattractive group of women, according to Kevin Samuels. But once again, he is a liar, and he lies for no other reason than to make black women look inferior to white women. But before we get into the content of this video... So, well, where would you rank yourself, Kevin? I rank myself a nine. Okay. Women look at themselves and see and will rank themselves higher than they actually rank themselves. Ask men the same question. Men rank themselves to about around five, five and a half if I actually aggregated. Men look at themselves and see their problem areas. Women look at themselves and see what they want to see. So well, where would you rank yourself, Kevin? I rank myself a nine. Okay. Men look at what they, and that's the thing. You can, they're, and they're saying, you know, beauty is subjective. That's that's another fallacy. Beauty is not subjective. That's, no, why, we, not. that's objective, why we have brother. the... That's why we have the golden ratio, the Fibonacci right. equation. Right. You can look at that's facial right. symmetry and see that that's right. beautiful people, you can map you can map their facial structure and it, it goes to a mathematical calculation. Oh yeah. Beauty sure. is universal. And the yep. thing is, we're talking about black women, they are on the opposite end of the spectrum on all ranks. Since ancient times, people have found that phenomenon which fit the golden ratio are found to be more aesthetically pleasing. In nature, many things follow the golden ratio, such as the number of petals on a flower, the way that a nautilus shell curves. Even in architecture, you find that architects use the golden ratio to make sure that their buildings look more aesthetically pleasing. Great thinkers like Leonardo da Vinci and artists like Salvador Dali have used the golden ratio to create facial proportions and body proportions which they think are aesthetically pleasing. And true enough, even today, we have found that when a person's facial proportions follow the golden ratio, we innately find them more aesthetically pleasing. Over here, I have a calipers which help me measure the golden ratio. So when we open this up, at one side, you have a ratio of 1 is to 1.618, following the golden ratio proportions. So over here, we have our, uh, our volunteer, Kelly. Close your eyes, please. So looking at Kelly's face, let's use the calipers to see whether her face fits into the golden ratio dimensions. We start by looking at the distance between the eyes. This distance should be approximately the width of the eye, which is there. And compared to the width of the face, you can see that Kelly has beautiful cheekbones and her width of the face in them is in golden ratio. Her eyebrows as well, from the end to the arch to the length of the eyebrow, they are in golden ratio proportion. Let's look at her nose. So Kelly's nose is also a good length in golden ratio proportion. Kelly's mouth is slightly small for her face, so if we enhance her lips to make it slightly longer, it will be nicer. And looking at the width of the face, you can see that Kelly's face is slightly wide and she may benefit from slight slimming. Next, let's look at the vertical proportions for her. 
we look at the height of the nose to the mouth compared with her chin and you can see that using the golden ratio her chin is slightly short and if it's slightly enhanced and longer it may look better finally I'm going to look at the thickness of the lips so our lips are also in golden ratio proportions so looking at this Kelly's lower lip can be slightly thicker and a little enhancement there may also fit her better into the golden ratio profile The golden ratio serves as a guide but it is not the only measure of beauty even if someone does not fit the golden ratio entirely it does not mean that they are aesthetically not beautiful other factors come into play such as the condition of the skin whether there is aging and sagging and there are cultural differences which may influence how we perceive beauty the measurements of this woman's face is close to the perfect measurements of the golden ratio and clearly this woman is Asian and to an Asian man he may and should find her to be more beautiful than any other ethnicity. This doctor even mentioned that cultural differences and actually common sense should dictate that ethnicity plays an important role in what is considered to be beautiful. But many black men have bought into the idea that white people control what they should think is beautiful. And that is why Kevin Samuels is saying that black women are on the end of the spectrum of attractiveness. Because most black men are followers, they are easily led and they follow the lead of whatever the white media tells them to. So black men believe that the standard of beauty is whatever white men say it is and they simply follow along with it. And they are the only group of men who do this. Black women are starting to look more masculine. And this one, you start putting on additional makeup and, you know, weave and all this other kind of stuff. I'm no, I, I hear you, bro. I just disagree. That's I, I just disagree. But I, I, I do agree with you when it talks about symmetry. I actually heard that before. Okay. I just... When it comes to nose and lip and all that different stuff and, and the ratio and the symmetry of the face and stuff like that, mm -hmm. things that are definitively black, historically, scientifically, science has not been favorable to black people. An example of the unfavorable press for black people that he just mentioned. In 2019, the media put out the idea that Bella Hadid was the most beautiful woman in the world. And Beyonce came in second, based on the golden ratio. According to whoever took these measurements, Bella Hadid had a rating of 94.3 and Beyonce had a rating of 92.44 out of 100, I suppose. The media didn't mention, though, that Bella Hadid had many, many plastic surgeries in order to achieve these measurements compared to Beyonce's natural beauty. Her facial surgeries have been a journey to say the least. Bella has probably been through a lot of physical pain. Now let's add up Bella Hadid's plastic surgery procedures and find out how much it costs to look like Bella Hadid. Jaw surgery, 100,000. First rhinoplasty, 15,000. Second rhinoplasty, 30,000. Nose revision, 20,000. Upper blepharoplasty, 10,000. Ponytail lift, which consists of lateral brow lift, cheek lift, and facelift, 200,000. Buckle fat removal, 10,000. Upper lip lift, 20,000. Under eye filler, 5,000. Lip filler and Botox yearly maintenance, 5,000. Chest implants, 20,000. Jaw reduction, 20,000. PDO thread lift, 5,000. Total cost, $460,000. Kevin Samuels has never given any black woman who call his show a rating above six, but he sees himself as a nine. So I guess he's the Denzel Washington of YouTube. I've watched a few of Kevin Samuels interviews and I can't think of one positive thing he's ever said to a black woman. Not one thing. 
What can possibly be Kevin Samuel's goals when he says that black women are the most unattractive and on the opposite end of the spectrum? And since black men have made Kevin Samuels their spokesperson on how they feel about black women, just know that the last person a woman wants to be with is a man who thinks she's unattractive. So whatever Kevin Samuels is trying to do, I promise it's going to create a greater divide between black men and black women 